Welcome to m a t h y Channel. Today is the 15th Pink Sunday. I will explain the last and the most important key points of a table tennis grip and also the reverse handhold grip based on Chinese coaching. The first two key points of holding a table tennis racket has been explained in the previous video. That is, use the Mersco Group 2 to hold your racket, and a compact grip will increase the freedom of the wrist. I will explain in this video the last key point in the three principles to have a good table tennis grip. This key point is the most important as it is the key of explosiveness in Chinese philosophy about table tennis stroke. This key point is less emphasized in the Western table tennis coaching program. But if you master this key point, the quality, speed, and speed of the stroke will increase dramatically. But firstly, as usual, I want to communicate with you. I really want to know which table tennis topics interest you the most. Thank you for voting your topic. Based on your vote, the most favorite topics is technique, with 47 like, 22 command. The second is tactics. With 21 like and 11 comments. So I will concentrate more on the favorite topics, that is table tennis technique and table tennis tactics, and also switch topic every month, as proposed by Richard Garcia. I also really want to know where you come from, which language. Does my audience speak? So, based on YouTube analysis, you come from United States, Germany, India, United Kingdom, Brazil, Australia, Russia, Philippines, Vietnam, Canada, Indonesia, Malaysia, France, etc. The top 10 language spoken by my audience is English, Indonesian, Italian, Spanish. German, Vietnamese, Hindi, Filipino, Arabic, Korean. If you come from another country not shown here, let me know by commenting below. I really want to know more about you. I also let my video open so that everybody can contribute the subtitle, close caption in his favorite language, so you can easily click add new subtitle, add new subtitle and choose. Your favorite language, for example, you can choose Spanish. If you speak Spanish, click OK and click with your subtitle or closed caption. And now you can translate from English to your favorite language, Spanish. Hola, bonjour, for example. And then you can click Publish to contribute your favorite language in subtitle. It is very easy. You are automatically credited, and your name will be appear in the video description. I hope that you can help another people who don't understand English by adding the video subtitle in your mother language. Now, let's talk about the third principle of how to hold table tennis racket. You know this Chinese guy. He is Su Weifeng, Chinese table tennis team player, ITTF World Junior Championship 2007. Why his ball is very fast and powerful? It is a combination of several factors: his technique, his racket, his rubber. But look at the way how he holds his racket. Have you mentioned something? His racket loosely before receive the ball. He loosen his grip, and you can see that he always drop the head of his racket down. His racket is rather heavy, 
and by holding only by the muscle root 2, his racket always pound downward before any stroke. You can see that he sets his racket a little before receiving the ball. Why? It is just a normal sign of the relaxed phase. Before hitting the ball, you should be relaxed. Do you remember the three phrases relax, explode, and relax, which I have explained you before? However, there is one thing that you cannot see in the video. That is how he applied the pressure on the plate. It is impossible to see this aspect, even in real match, unless the player or the coach tell you the secret. This is the third key point I will show you now. But wait! Tony has shared his experience of how to hold the racket correctly. He said, I watched this video yesterday morning and in the afternoon I tried to hold my racket with my thumb and index finger. Then my friend said, hey, you are playing a different level now. <laughs> Thank you so much. All your video made me improve so fast. I just trained for one year and a lot of my friends shocked with that. Oh my god, thank you. Spiral Furry also shared his moment of trying the Muscle Group 2 to hold his racket. He said, It is funny that the very first time I tried the finger hoist exercise, my wrist make a cracking noise <laughs> by rotating it and pressuring the bottom three finger. Why I didn't do that with the thumb and the pointing finger? It showed that the legitimacy of your advice. I didn't hold it right way before since you explained the flare handle blade video, which really helped to improve putting extra power and spin on the ball. Thank you. Oh, it's funny that you has discovered the cracking sounds. Thank you. And now the third key point. It is all about the thumb, the index finger, and how to apply pressure. This is also the question of Nicola, the placement of the thumb. That is also the question of Bratz, the thumb position and pressure. This is a very good question. The coach in his club didn't answer him, so not today we will discuss. Firstly, your thumb must be put here on the edge of the handle. This place on the handle is designed to put your thumb on. That's why every table tennis handle, straight handle, flare handle, conic handle must have this edge. This edge is crucial as it must be flat and large enough so you can apply the pressure on the thumb. Second, once the thumb position is fixed, don't move the thumb. The thumb is the most important landmark, the point of reference in your grip, so don't move the thumb. However, you can move the index finger. Third, now you must put your index finger at the opposite side exactly of the thumb position. These two positions of the thumb and the index are very important as it makes a perfect plier to pinch your racket. During your backhand stroke, you can move your thumb higher to support your backhand stroke, but just after the stroke, the thumb must be always returned to its original position on the edge. For your forehand stroke, you can support your forehand by putting your index finger higher, look at the photo, but your thumb must be fixed always on the edge. How about applying the pressure during the forehand and backhand stroke? How to apply the pressure during the stroke is the heart of the explosiveness in table tennis. It is not new for many Chinese coaches. However, not many Western coaches and home players know the truth behind it. Applying the pressure at the moment of contact can dramatically increase the speed and spin of the ball. It is like you whip and suddenly pull it back, the art of whip cracking. All the top Chinese players apply the pressure at the moment of contact. Proof? Show me the proof. Look at the weird face of many top players at the moment of contact. The neuroscience explained that when you apply the fox on your hand suddenly and strongly, you also use another muscle group including your third muscle, 
It is the mechanics of the brain signal to several muscle groups. Now you understand why the table tennis player has changed face when hitting the ball. It is because they are trying to add extra force at the moment of contact by adding the pressure on the grip. Some people say that you press your thumb during your backhand stroke and press your index finger during your forehand stroke. Some others say that you should press both thumb and the index finger. But the truth is, for your forehand stroke, you apply the pressure only on your index finger because of the nature of this stroke. This stroke is a long stroke and very powerful. Your thumb does not support this type of stroke. For your backhand stroke, you should apply the pressure on both finger, index and thumb. As the backhand stroke is very quick, explosive in a short distance, you also use your wrist to rotate quickly. That's why you must press the two finger to pinch your racket firmly. If not, the racket will fly away. Can I change the grip during the transition of backhand to forehand or forehand to backhand? That is also the question of Lipinski. He asked, can I change my grip when I switch from back forehand to backhand? And can I put my thumb higher when I play backhand? For this question, some coach affirmed that you must use the same grip for both your backhand and forehand stroke for the reason of consistency. Another coach said that you can change the grip during the rallies. Chinese philosophy about table tennis grip allows you to change the grip if you have enough time. For quick rally on the table, you should change the grip. But if you have time far from the table counter attack or smashing, you can change the grip. However, you must follow the third principle. You must ensure the thumb position and apply the pressure at the moment of contact correctly. You can see that the Chinese players change the grip to optimize the power of his smash. The index finger is moved up, but the thumb is always at its position. For further information, you can read how to use the finger effectively on Butterfly Magazine. The link is in this video description below. That's it for today. I even don't have enough time to talk about the pen hole grip. I will explain it next week Sunday. So the third principle in of holding a table tennis racket based on Chinese philosophy is the most important one of the three key points. Your thumb on the plate is a landmark, very important. Index finger combines with the thumb finger to apply pressure. Apply pressure at the moment of contact is the key for a high quality ball. You should also know where to apply the pressure. Move your index finger if you want to support your forehand stroke. Apply the pressure only on the index finger for your forehand stroke. You can move your thumb a little higher for your backhand stroke but your thumb should be always on, it, on the edge. Apply pressure on both thumb and index finger during the backhand stroke. It is the time for you to practice and try it yourself. Top spin or push the ball without the finger pressure as you do usually. Now, press your index and thumb finger at the moment you contact the ball. You can feel the difference. You will feel the ball better now. You can also add the extra power to your shot. Speed and speed will increase. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am very busy and I'm sorry that I couldn't answer all of your comments, but I will try my best to give you the coaching video next spring Sunday. Please comment and let me know your progress. Your progress motivates me a lot. See you! Empathic.